22. <laughs> I think it's day 22. And Rachel's found a friend. There's lots of giant trees back here. It's beautiful. And we're about nine, eight, nine miles from Big Bear, which we are going to today to get some more food, clean up a little bit, hug a bear, and hug a bear. continue on. <laughs> She's yeah. like, hug a bear. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that where they have big bears? Day 22, lunchtime, Brazil nuts. After days of living in a tent, you'll emerge and see giant modern day castles like this. It's incredible. I don't know. How you could possibly need all that? You can be happy with a tent and walking shoes. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what day it is. We lost track. But we did need to get our laundry done today. We're in Big Bear, which is yet another car-centered city. Cars! Cars! Would you like a car? How about 80? One of the things you realize when you're hiking on the trail and you're walking by foot feet all day is that, and then you merge into cities, is you really realize how not walker friendly they are. Which is crazy because we're in Big Bear and Big Bear is like beautiful. And yeah. there's a beautiful lake and it's like there's just roads everywhere and there's nothing you can't access by road. There's like literally nowhere to walk to. There's yeah. nowhere to walk. And oh, oh, and we found a taxi. It's backwards because we're on selfie mode, but that's a tack card for just Carl, the taxi driver, who's going to come and give us a ride. Because there's no taxi service because Uber put them all out of business, but you can't get an Uber. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. And this guy over here, he's waiting for his owner inside the laundromat. He's a real sweetie. He's been crying. <laughs> Feel bad for him. Anyway, that's our day. We're ready to get back on the trail. Can't wait tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Sure. Right after our continental breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> of, of, of packaged pastry. <laughs>